can come in. Gosh, there's a lot going on today. It's Wednesday. We had pizza here. I'm, I'm supposed to be fasting today. I had one piece of cheese pizza. I gotta figure out what I'm giving up for Lent. Um, I think I'll give up going out for lunch during the week. Except Fridays. Diamond Tread pneumatic tire. Uh, 0970. We just got a big shipment today and it came earlier than we expected. This is wrong. We have another shipment coming in the 19th. That's wrong. It's the 10th today and we're nine days ahead of time. So there's someone here. They're just they're raining out of the sky. Now watch, watch them get sold out within an hour. We have pneumatic tires to go on your chassis. What we don't have is a surplus of the belt that goes between the wheels People are waiting on this tire and that belt in order to make the um, AN1 for you 3 P and 8. You could have always done that without special belts, but you'd have to cut away this portion of the end plate. If you cut pockets on the end plate, you can use the standard belt that is used for a 6 inch wheel. You just have to make this, uh, this change to your end plate. This is the CAD for that. We've got a web page for that part. Click somewhere down here and it's the PNA with no belts. On Monday we figured out that some of our pulleys were, were fracturing for the Rhino track drive. These are polycarbonate pulleys. They're getting a lot of stress and strain on the system. On the Rhino track drive module there is a there's a page that we've been updating that chronicles the issues we're having and the testing that we're doing. You click on that and you can see what's all happening with these pulleys and how we're improving them. If you have trouble with your pulleys, email us at sales at andymark.com. Let us know what's going on. Um, let us know what your order is and we'll take care of you. We think that the pulleys are mostly fine. We, we're doing a lot of testing with, with these pulleys here. We're trying to break them, but we're having trouble breaking them. We're not saying that there aren't bad pulleys out there because there are. So therefore, we did make some changes to the pulley uh, the pulley design and we're having our molder make those changes for us. This is our our old design and the new design. We added ribs, we made fillets bigger, we, we raised up these counterboard areas to, su su to support the bearing area much much better. So this design is done. Um, we have a new way to 3D print things here at Andy Mark. It's, it's brand new and you get to see it today for the first time. It's very very novel and um, groundbreaking. So I'm going to I'm going to 3D print this part right now. Let's I got to concentrate so bear with me. The, the cool thing about this is we realize these problems on Monday and it's Wednesday. We've got a new part. So we're testing this right now. Our molder said he it would take a week. We told customers it would take 8 to 10 days and it took 3 days. So that's it. That's that's a good thing. And we haven't, we haven't told any customers yet, so you're the first to know. That's our little secret, okay? We'll test it, and we'll get it, information out to the customers over the next day or so. It has all those ribs. It has raised portions here and increased fillets. We put some magnets in the dart. The magnets are to flag Hall effect sensors that are at each end of the dart. They're glued into this pocket, and I think sometimes the magnets are sticking out. I mean, that the magnet is sticking out a little farther than it should here. This one's good, it's nice and flush and smooth. This one you can feel the magnet sticking out. Some people are trying to file or sand this down. Don't do that. It messes with the magnet. If you want to fix this, you can file the back side of the block. It moves the block over a little bit. The concentricity of that hole in the tube is a little bit off. Probably the best thing to do is just, just contact us. Sales at andymark.com. Let us know if you have one of these that's bad we'll send you a new one. We've got different materials of bumpers. We have some stickers. We have two different types of noodles. We have two different types of bumper materials. Robo Promo out of Michigan, they have some pretty cool bumper instructions and bumper sleeve stuff and they have all different types of numbers. You could you could choose all different fonts and everything. We'll help you some. Obviously we have parts. Robo Promo has a lot of parts and they have a lot more effort put into bumper tutorials and such. Uh, have a good rest of your week. We've only got two more weeks left of build season, so get your robots driving. Make sure your software guys and gals have plenty of time to work on your functioning robot. I'll see you Friday.
do a segment with Becca showing best practices for taking care of the Chia Pet. Do you want to do it, Liz? No, but... <laughs> Maybe Stoltz can. Stoltz, can you give us an update on how the Chia Pet's doing? Looking good. You heard well, it here. That's, that's <laughs> I, I did notice there's, there's Chia growing out of his watering hole. Strange. <laughs>